Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Yes, it's 10 Yarn Questions Tag, you're it. I was tagged by Rose from Rose Lakes Crochet this afternoon. I was really blown away. Um, I'd been watching a lot of 10 um, Yarn Question videos and I'd found them fun and interesting. So to be tagged is awesome. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate it. I hope you find my answers to my 10 questions interesting. So first off the list, what is your favourite colour yarn? Well, if you follow me for a while, you'll know it's orange, bright orange. Orange is the soft furnishing colour in my lounge room. Yeah, a little quirky and old fashioned, but I like orange. What is your favourite weight of yarn? Well, I live in the tropics in Australia and it's warm a lot of time of the year. So eight ply or three weight is probably suitable for the cooler nights and climate here. Anything heavy is too hot. But I do like four weight because I can make some really nice projects and send it to family who live where it's cooler. So four weight, three weight, eight ply, ten ply. That's pretty much the range of um, weight yarn I like. What is your favourite style of yarn? I don't have a favourite style of yarn. I like most yarn. The only one I don't really feel comfortable with is roving yarn. I haven't used a lot of it. I don't go out of my way to buy it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it yet. Maybe as I use more of it, I'll grow to like it. Um, what is your favourite fibre of yarn? Wool. Wool and wool blends. I love wool. I just think it gives you a nice finished project. It's natural fibre. And of course, we have a lot of sheep in Australia and we grow merino wool. What is your favourite brand that you can get easily in your country? Bendigo wool and cotton. From Bendigo Woolen Mills. I am up the top of the east coast and they are at the bottom of the east coast in Victoria. This is their Bloom Colour Sunrise and this is their 10 ply cotton grey mist. I love their wool and cotton. Even though it's a 10 ply, I wouldn't say it's a three weight, a four weight, it's quite thin. But it is beautiful cotton. What is your favourite brand of yarn that isn't easy to get in your country? Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Yarn, either in DK or Worsted. My number one favourite. Up until last year, I used to order it from Premier and get it in because the freight wasn't too bad. But last year, their freight went through the roof and it makes it far too expensive. Um... Some of the young companies that will get it in for you here, it still costs them a fortune in freight and it's not worth it. But I do love Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Yarn. Number one favourite, best colour range. What yarn store online and what oh, favourite yarn store online and favourite bricks and mortar? I don't really have a favourite online store. Um, until COVID I would buy a lot from overseas but the last year or so I've been buying from Australian yarn stores online and supporting them um, and I have bought a lot a reasonable amount from Bendigo they don't have a great range but they do have a great color range but yeah I wouldn't say I have a favorite online store bricks and mortar we have spotlight and link crafter our two big yarny crafty stores and I have a small craft store across the road from me at work. Um, I love that little craft store, but they don't have a lot of yarn. Out of Spotlight and Linkcraft, it'd have to be Spotlight. They're getting in more and more Lion brand yarns at reasonable prices. They have a better range and the staff are friendly. Linkcraft, they have a limited range. They tend to stick to their own yarns and the quality is not great. And the staff aren't friendly. <laughs> They're usually pretty miserable. So yeah, it'd have to be spotlight. Do you keep scrap yarn? And if so, what do you do with it? I throw nothing away. I keep all my scraps. Even the ends I trim off because I use them to stuff pillows. This is just this year. It's supposed to be trying to cut off less than last year. Um, I'll make lapgans. 
tea cozies, dolls, dresses, whatever the, I've got enough of that yarn to do, I will use it. I also will take yarn to my Far North Queensland Crochet for Cranza group and donate scrap yarn. There's an old lady there that likes anything that's a metre or longer, she'll take. And she makes the most amazing lap gans and beanies out of these scraps. So yeah, nothing goes in the bin. What is your favourite thing to make? <laughs> well, if you've been with me for a while, you would know. It's tea cosies or teapot warmers. This is one I showed the last video. This is knitted in acrylic. This is the second Mrs. Bunny I've made. The first one definitely turned out better. And I finished this one last night. It's crocheted. I was playing around with some yarn I dyed and some yarn my um, yarn fairy godmother Janice sent me and did this one. Uh, I have made these ones before. Earlier this year I did a um, a knitted tea cozy tutorial which isn't been too bad it's been quite well received and I probably will do a crocheted tea cozy tutorial when I can decide on what's the easiest design to do um, just because I get asked for it I also collect tea cozy pattern books these are my favorites Lonnie Pryor she does some really amazing tea cozies I've got one earmarked I've got the yarn for it but every time I go to start it, I get nervous because <laughs> um, hers are really involved and she is the queen of tea cozies. I am actually working on something earlier, or maybe end of last year, one of my Facebook ladies from the Make Along group sent me a flyer from Facebook about tea cozy bombing. There's a lady collecting tea cozies um, for a small town out west in Australia out the west in Australia somewhere I've forgotten them. excuse me sorry hiccuping forgotten the name of the time she's collecting them her husband's photographing and putting a booklet together they will go on display in this town for this big fair and then they will be auctioned off so you donate them the theme is bush it has to be Australian and theme bush I've worked on one and almost finished it and decided it doesn't look like what it's supposed to be. I will show you another video. But yeah, this has got to be something I create. I have made a Vegemite tea cozy before, but I want it to be something different. And of course, I want it to be almost perfect before I send it away as a donation. So tea cozies, changing the world, one tea cozy at a time. I'm a firm believer that a pot of loose leaf tea with friends is the best medicine it's relaxing, it's good for you, and it creates excellent conversation. So if you haven't tried a pot of loose leaf tea, uh, tea with friends that has a lovely tea cosy on it, give it a go. So guys, that's my 10 yarn questions. And now it's my turn to tag some people. I hope you found my answers interesting. So my tags, my first tag is for Penny little bits of yarn she has about 609 subscribers I will put the links to these tag channels in the description below so you can go straight over there check them out if you like the channel subscribe I'm sure she'd like to reach a thousand um, I like Penny because she's doing that card of nine I, I can't think what they call it but you pick nine projects for the year that you would like to make and she won my heart because on her card of nine is a tea cozy so penny little bits of yarn charm grammy crochet with lynette you've got to check her out and lynette you've got to do the 10 yarn questions tag you're it we're doing a lot of the same cows and i can't wait to see her videos to see what yarn and color she's used so yeah charm grammy crochet lynette tagged you're it and I want to spread it across the world. So over to the UK, to Linda Simpson from her crochet nook. I'm sure she'll have some interesting questions. So Linda Simpson, tag your it. I hope you do the 10 yarn questions. Across the other side of Australia, because her experiences will be different to mine. Colours of the Outback, Mel. Mel, you have to do the 10 yarn questions. No backing out. I'm tagging you. I'm sure you'll have much different experiences to me. 
And finally, but not last, because there were so many I could think of, Kitty Mum Adventures. Penny, you do Setter's Cow, you do the Birthstone Make Long, you have the Amigurumi Make Long. I'm sure you can answer the 10 yarn questions easily. So come on, guys, you're tagged. Penny from Little Bits of Yarn, Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet, Linda Simpson. And I think it's Linda Simpson's Crochet Nook, but don't quote me on that. Colours of the Outback with Mel and Kitty Mum Adventures. There you go. I've tagged a few people because I think they're fun and it's interesting learning what people like. So, guys, until next time, make sure you stay safe, take care of each other and have one yarny, crafty day. Bye for now.